Hey Rachel, what's up? Hey guys, I have some great news. My parents are letting me have a birthday party. It's gonna be at the pool. Cool, when? This weekend. There's gonna be food and dancing. And you know my brother? He's gonna DJ. Oh awesome, I heard he has a great sound system. Yup, and there's a big deck by the pool and it's gonna be covered in colored lights. It's gonna be so nice. And we're gonna have a barbecue. At the pool? A barbecue? I'm there. Awesome, what about you guys? Yeah, yeah sure. of course. Are you guys going to Rachel's party? Yeah, I guess so. You don't sound too excited about it. I don't know, I guess it will be fun. What about you, Mike? Are you going? Not really am I going. Rachel asked me to be your date. Date? She, she asked, asked you? Is she your girlfriend? Very funny. I can't believe Rachel asked you. How do you get a girl to ask you out? He paid her. You guys are so funny. I need a date. Maybe I'll just meet someone there. You mean a date date? What for? Dates are fun. Us friends, maybe. Maybe you'll end up with somebody by the end of the night. Whatever, I gotta go. What's up with her? I don't know. Did I say something wrong? What do I need to know? Dear Holly, I've been invited to a friend's pool party. She has a date. My other friends are talking about getting a date or meeting someone there. I'm not thrilled about wearing a bathing suit at the party. To tell the truth, I'm really not that excited about the whole thing. Is there something wrong with me? Is there something wrong with me? This is a question teens ask most often. Girls and guys alike wonder if there's something wrong with them. Hi, I'm Holly, and this is Zach. Hi, I've got a letter here from a guy who's going to a party and he doesn't have a date yet. He's worried he won't get the nerve to ask anyone out, that maybe he's not keeping pace with his friends. You think these two know each other? I don't know about that, but here's what I do know. When it comes to growing up in puberty, there isn't any one thing that's considered normal. In fact, it's different for everyone. Let's take a look at this clip. Puberty is the word we use in early adolescence when sex hormones start to increase dramatically and both males and females begin to develop sexually. Hormones are chemicals produced in the body. Estrogen and progesterone cause girls to develop breasts and hips and begin menstruation. Testosterone causes boys to develop deeper voices, broader shoulders, and to grow more hair on their bodies, including facial hair. Both boys and girls begin to grow hair on the genital area and under the armpits. Menstruation is another word for getting your period. Approximately once each month, a tiny cell called an egg is released from one of the ovaries. That's called ovulation. It travels down the fallopian tubes where it can be fertilized by a sperm if a girl has had sexual intercourse. Sperm are cells contained in the semen that males produce daily starting in puberty. A small amount of semen, the sticky fluid containing millions of sperm cells, is released through the penis. The fertilized egg enters the uterus and implants itself on the uterine wall and develops into an embryo, then a fetus, and eventually becomes a baby. If fertilization doesn't occur, the egg dies and is eliminated from the uterus along with blood and other tissue during the girl's period. But what does all this have to do with parties and dates? Well, those hormones that are responsible for all these physical changes can also cause changes in our emotions as well. We might begin to have another kind of interest in people, a sexual interest. Because these changes occur at different times for different people, some teens are interested in dating and some aren't. As teens begin to develop physically, they're also growing emotionally. Deeper relationships begin to form and eventually romance can enter the picture. Feelings about many things may become more intense, more complicated. Moods can erupt suddenly and pass quickly. Everyone experiences different hormonal changes at different times. So the answer to our reader's question, is there something wrong with me, is no. There's nothing wrong with her. It can be hard though if you're the first person or one of the last of your friends to go through puberty. You might feel alone and ahead of schedule, or you might feel left behind, but these differences are very normal, and eventually everyone gets there. It says here that girls can start puberty as early as age eight. Can you believe that? My cousin said that she got her period when she turned 11. She said that she could have a baby. Not that she would, but that she could. No way, I think that you have to be older. Well, that's what she told me. She told me all about how babies are made. Well, I know how babies are made, but I've never heard of an 11-year-old having a baby. I don't think it's possible. Well, she's not having sex, so she couldn't have a baby. But if you have your period, you can get pregnant if you have sex. I don't know. We can look it up on this website. Yeah, see, it says right here. When you begin menstruation, you can get pregnant. You can ask them questions. Yeah, I know, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I have a question to ask them. What are you going to ask? You know. Oh, that. 
Dear Holly and Zach, my chest is uneven. One side is bigger than the other. Is this normal? Yes, that's totally normal. No part of your body is perfectly symmetrical, and sometimes breasts are different in size. There are lots of common myths about what you might hear is normal and what is not. For example, when I was a kid, I thought that if a girl drank lots of milk, her breasts would grow larger, or if she slept on her stomach, that they would stop growing. Neither of those is true. Just like you can't control your height, you can't control the size of individual parts of your body. Boys sometimes worry when they hit puberty because their chests swell for a short time. They think it isn't normal, but it is. Some boys think it's abnormal to get an erection during the day. An erection is when the penis fills with blood and becomes firm. Although an erection is usually due to sexual excitement, it is common for boys and young men to experience them without an apparent reason. When some boys have a wet dream for the first time, they worry that something is wrong with them, or they're embarrassed about it. A wet dream is when a boy ejaculates or releases semen while he is sleeping. Erections and wet dreams are not something you can control, and they are totally normal. Most teenagers have the same doubts and fears. Most go through a time where they think maybe they aren't normal. But remember, normal is different for everyone. Some people's bodies develop at a younger age, and some take longer to look mature. Some people feel happy about looking more grown up, and some people feel shy about it. Just like there isn't one normal hair color, eye color, skin color, or height, there isn't a single normal way that young people develop into adults. Look, Tyler, they have a quiz. Cool, let's take it. Okay, it's like a true or false quiz. I'll ask you. True or false, a girl cannot get pregnant right after her period. Uh, true. False. It says here that a teenage girl can get pregnant at almost any time. Teenage girls' bodies are not mature enough to predict when the ovulation will happen, and that's a time you can get pregnant. Cool. Let me ask you one. Okay. Okay. A guy has wet dreams because he thinks about sex too much. Hmm. I guess that's probably true. Nope. It says here that a guy can produce at least 200 million sperm a day. Wet dreams are just one way for the body to release the semen that it has made. Okay, my turn. True or false? Teens don't usually get sexually transmitted diseases or infections like syphilis, gonorrhea, and chlamydia. Right. Wrong. One in four sexually active teens contract a sexually transmitted disease each year. Anytime a teen has sex, they risk contracting a sexually transmitted disease from an infected person. They can become infected even if it's their first time. Whoa. Sexually transmitted diseases or infections are usually transmitted through sexual contact, but some, like herpes, can be transmitted by touching the infected area. A lot of teens don't realize that sexually transmitted diseases or infections can result in them never being able to have a child. They can cause brain damage, and some, like AIDS, can be fatal. Symptoms of some common sexually transmitted diseases or infections include itching, discharge, redness, and blisters. But in some of the STDs teens frequently get, the most common symptom is no symptoms at all. If someone thinks they might have put themselves at risk for getting an STD, they should go see a doctor right away. Condoms and spermicide can help reduce the risk of STDs in pregnancy. A condom is a sheath that covers the penis during sexual activity. However, the only 100% sure way to prevent STDs or pregnancy is to not have sex. There is a lot to know about puberty and sex. Some young people feel dumb asking a question because they think that everyone else knows the answer. But you can be sure that no matter what your question is, there are plenty of other people that are wondering the exact same thing. So it's important to ask questions. How else will you learn? If you have concerns about sex or your own growth and development, talk to your parents, teacher, healthcare provider, or guidance counselor. There are plenty of good books on the subject too. Don't be afraid to find out about one of the most important aspects of your life.